Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is doing well. Sorry for the lack of uploads over the last week. I've been fairly busy with um, some work, but I've got a few more videos planned for the rest of the week and for next week. So hopefully normal service will be resumed um, where I put out about three, four, five videos a week. Um, so please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos coming up. But in this video, I'm going to be answering a question that I always get asked on Instagram and in the YouTube comments on how I maintain my model car collection. Now, my model car collection consists of around 50 models, both die cast and resin models. And keeping them in mint condition is at the top of every collector's mind. So I'll be sharing some of my little hacks and tips on how I keep my collection mint and in perfect condition. Now these um, little t tips and hints um, I've got off other YouTube videos as well. So I'll leave um, a few links in the description if you want to go and check out um, those videos. And um, yeah, in general, I think I'll be sharing about five or six tips uh, on how to keep your collection in good order. So let's go on to the first one. Now this is quite an obvious one, but then again on YouTube I don't really see many collectors doing this. Is I always handle the um, model cars with um, plastic gloves. Um, obviously this is just so I don't get any fingerprints on the model car or, or anything that's on my hands on the car that may damage the paintwork and cause imperfections. So that's quite a simple tip but one that I don't see many collectors do. Um, I always think it's worthwhile doing just to be safe, um, but I think it's a very important tip because there's no point cleaning your model and then picking it up, putting it back in the cabinet, and then there's fingerprints all over it. So um, that's my um, tip number one. Tip number two is to get a turntable similar to this. This is quite a cheap one off Amazon, but you can get better ones. Um, so when you're cleaning the model, you don't have to keep turning it around. Um, it's a lot easier to do. And also it comes in handy on my YouTube videos as well. Um, I'm sure you've seen this in pretty much every single video that I've done. Uh, next is when you display your model cars in the cabinet. I always think it's very good to put this draft extractor um, in between all the gaps and all the... Um, openings around the cabinet this is great to keep the dust out and it's very cheap on amazon and um, you can probably get 10 meters for 20 quid um, something like that and this is a really really good um, hack to uh, minimize the dust build up in your cabinet and i'll show you how i've applied this to my cabinet after but this is a, um, a really cheap way to um, keep the dust out because cabinets go for thousands and thousands of pounds if it's a, um, a dust proof cabinet um, but it's worth I would say getting a cheaper cabinet and then spending um, a little bit of money on um, some modifications like the um, draft excluders um, and that will um, keep the dust out. Next when you're dusting your models never ever use polish or any kind of like furniture polish um, because that will ruin the paintwork over a long period of time. I always use these kind of very fine makeup brushes. Um, again, these are very cheap off Amazon. These are perfect for um, keeping your models dust free. Um, but some words for caution when you're using these is always watch out for badges, stickers, anything that sticks out. Um, anything like, um, for example, on some of the more expensive cars, you have fins and winglets and um, other aerodynamical pieces. If you catch it with a brush, it's more than likely to come off. So you've got to be very careful um, and take your time when you're dusting the, um, the model cars because um, it takes a second and then a badge or a, um, a piece of a very delicate piece will come off. Next, I use these cloths, these microfiber-ish cloths. 
Now, um, when you buy some auto art models, they actually come with a cloth so you can use them. Um, but you know, any cloths that are used for cleaning your glasses is more than um, fine to um, clean the cars. So um, those are kind of my top cleaning tips for the models. Let's show you how I look after my die cast and resin model car collection. So we are back to the cabinet that I'm sure you guys have always seen on the channel in most of my videos. This is where I keep uh, most of my die cast collection um, and I've probably got around 20 to 25 models in here. Um, but coming back to what I showed you guys earlier with the draft excluders, I have put them around like the entire cabinet. So if you can see that all around the door, all at the top, around the um, top of the door as well and around the other side. This is great for keeping all the dust out, closing the gaps around the cabinet door and um, helping to keep all the dust out. Um, I only really clean my model cars once every three or four months um, because the, the, um, the draft extractors does the job quite nicely. I don't clean the models too often because if you clean them too often, I guess you risk damaging them or accidentally putting them in something off, um, which always kind of happens. So I tend to leave them alone for the most part and just try and keep the dust out. As I say, though, you are going to get dust in here over time. It's just delaying that so you don't have to keep cleaning your cars every single week. Um, but this is primarily my die cast collection. I will show you guys how where I keep all my resin models that you also see on the channel. Right guys, so I keep all of my resin models in their boxes. Um, so I don't keep them in the cabinet because they take up too much room. I keep them all in the boxes that they come from the manufacturer. So these are my MR collection models. The Devo, the Chiron, the 488 Pista, and the SVJ Roadster. Um, I've got more BBR models here, the BC, the HP Barchetta, um, and some more BBR Ferraris. Um, I keep them all in their boxes. I don't display them in the cabinet. And you should never display your uh, model cars in direct sunlight because they that will fade the paint on the model cars over time. So never display your models in direct sunlight. So I think it's just the best precaution. If you don't have the room, leave them in the boxes. Nothing will happen to them. And don't risk damaging the models over the long run. So I keep the models in here. When I want to do a video with them, I pull them out and I put them back in again. So they, they're not um, exposed to the elements as say. But for the die cast collection, I keep in the cabinet for the most part with the um, draft excluders around the whole thing. And it's a fully enclosed glass cabinet that you can get from really anywhere. Um, and it's pretty good for housing at least 35 to 40 models. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, please share your tips and hacks with me if you got anything. Um, leave it in the comments. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys soon for more videos to come. Thanks.